Let's plug the vector field f into the two-dimensional divergence theorem here and see what happens. So we're going to plug it into the divergence of that surface integral, in that surface integral. So we're going to take the divergence of f. That's pretty straightforward. It's going to be del f sub x del x plus del f sub y del y. But the whole point is that f is related to r with this minus sign. Putting it all together so, if we plug in this vector field f into the two-dimensional divergence theorem and relate it back to r, we get the surface integral of minus del r sub x del x plus del r sub y del y, which is written at the bottom of your screen. We are very nearly there, but it is a very subtle argument that follows. So note the expression at the top of your screen. This is what happens when we plug the vector field f, which came from Green's theorem, into the two-dimensional divergence theorem. Let's go back to Green's theorem. So Green's theorem, we started out with the vector field r, and we had this, this expression here on the left. But we found, through a small bit of a sleight of hand, that this is equivalent to the closed line integral of a new vector field f dot n hat dl. It appears, and if you look closely, it appears that if we were to say that the vector field r, which is equal to r sub x i hat plus r sub y j hat, is related to the vector field f, f by saying f is equal to r sub y i hat minus r sub x j hat, we will make some progress. Just to remind you why this is the case, by plugging the vector field f into the two-dimensional divergence theorem, we got the differentiation of r sub x, but with respect to x. We got the differentiation of r sub y, but with respect to y. But in Green's theorem, we have something, we've kind of got the opposite. We have the differentiation of r sub y with respect to x, and r sub x with respect to y. So in order for us to be able to match the two of these, we must say that the vector field f is equal to r sub y i hat minus r sub x j hat. If we plug that in, we get exactly what we want. We get the right hand side of Green's theorem. And doing this won't change the n hat from the left hand side either. That's just, that's a very important subtlety. So, how do we put it together? If we have a vector field r, and we put it into Green's theorem, r dot dl, the closed line integral, is equal to the surface integral of del r sub y del x minus del r sub x del y. If we define another vector field, capital A, as r sub y i hat minus r sub x j hat, then this is equivalent to the two-dimensional divergence theorem, and we can use this expression down here at the bottom of your screen. So there is a bit of a proviso, there is a bit of a caveat, but nonetheless, Green's theorem is equivalent to the two-dimensional divergence theorem. So that was quite difficult. Nonetheless, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, excuse me, and you might also check out universityphysicstutorials.com.